I have no idea how to start this video. And to be honest, I've been like that for a very long time. So I thought, sod it. I know it's a bit rich of me after so long to just come on here and do this video like this. Um, but this, this is me. This is me in, in the raw. I'm no makeup. I haven't brushed my hair. No lighting. Um, I haven't even cleared up behind me. But um, I, I, need, I need to do it. I need to get this out and over with. And it's not even a like the most serious of videos. It's just... Uh, I have fallen out of love with YouTube. And I never thought I'd say that. I have not fallen out with making and creating and uh, the technical side of things. I, I love doing all of that, but... The way YouTube is going, and I bet this video is going to be taken down because of this and not by me. YouTube is making it very difficult now for creators to be themselves, let's just say that. And I just haven't felt, haven't felt that love and that passion anymore, you know, that I used to have. And it's, it's the same for a lot of creators at the moment, so, you know, if you're wondering where everybody is, just cut people some slack. On a personal level, things have been um, strange around here. Last year, uh, you remember me saying how my illness has got on top of me this year. Uh, that year, rather. And it came to a head at the end of last year, and the depression side of things really took a hold of me. I had absolutely no desire to even look after myself at that point and I felt like if I did force myself to create some content um, that's not being true to me that's certainly not what I want to put out you know a fake like persona that everything's okay even after having you know good results from my MRIs um, it didn't it didn't stop where everything had got me until that point and so instead of then running from my health getting on top of me, I was running from depression getting on top of me. I haven't felt that low in a long time. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go into the ins and outs of it all. Um but those who you've been there know that it doesn't matter how good things are going in your life, you have this automatic response to feel at your worst when you should be feeling at your best and that's unfortunately what I was going through through no I wasn't I wasn't in control of that at all as much as I tried to be things really came to a head when I had to rehome Penny um, a long story short she suddenly developed this these behavioral problems and out of nowhere you know my vet said that it was down to her genes, it was nothing that I'd done, etc. Um, but you can't help feeling that it was all your fault. Even though I was trying everything, it got to a point where well, there was an incident. Uh, Dylan was in bed and she bit his face. At that point, the decision was taken out of my hands, out of everyone's hands. Um, she had to be rehomed. I have to say, though, at this point... That she has the most amazing home ever right now and I get pictures and occasionally videos and she is just having the time of her life. She has got several brothers and sisters and they go on adventures and she we, we had a feeling that she needed to be part of a pack anyway. There's no way I could look after two dogs especially with Penny the nutbag as well. So yeah she's having a better life than I could have ever given her so I'm I'm actually happy happy about not how it got there but the situation now it's as much as I miss her and it still breaks my heart she is having the time of her life but you can imagine how that made me feel and what that did to my already quite bad depression I just had this little mini breakdown in my head I felt like I didn't deserve help I didn't deserve to look after myself how ridiculous is that <laughs> I told myself how ridiculous it is. It doesn't doesn't stop the brain thinking that. 
So yeah, that's that's what's been going on. I honestly do not know what I would have done without Matt. <laughs> I love that guy more than he will ever know. And he really pulled me through this. And last month I got a total complete mind reset. We buggered off to America for nearly two weeks. And God, isn't it amazing what a holiday does? I'd never been to America, so it was a total mind-blowing experience for me. I didn't just tick things off my bucket list. I was tearing, tearing that bucket list up. I had the time of my life out there. And that's done more for me than any therapy, any drug, any, anything could do for me. And I'm still on a high from that. It's, it's amazing. I've had tiny blips because I'm on, I got the coil and for the first like few months, your hormones go like this. And God, have I been feeling that. <laughs> the other day I thought, I felt rather than thinking, I, I thought completely straight, but my emotions were all, oh my God, my life's a mess. I can't sort, I mean, my life's a mess, but it's, you know, I'm fine. But that's, that's gone now, thankfully. I feel so sorry for Matt, Jesus. But there has also been a new arrival, and I don't know if you've heard anything while I've been filming this video. This is Lulu. And right now you're a little bit smelly. We got her a couple of days ago, and she is my dream dog. She is a champion pedigree Lassapso, and Lassapso has been my dream dog forever. And it's strange how things work out, isn't it? Really strange. Certain things just pop into your life. She is just <laughs> so cute as well, my goodness. We had to go all the way to North Yorkshire for her, which was a uh, mission, but so totally worth it. Okay. So yeah, that's Lulu. And she's going to be making many more appearances on this channel. But right now it's time for a bath because you're a little bit smelly. And we need to keep this white coat clean somehow. So yeah, a very raw hay. And a very happy ending. <laughs>